What are we gonna do today? Today we're gonna make a cute little tote and it's a paper tote. And the fun thing about it is it has some pleats. One is a lot more simple than the other, but they're both really easy. Let's get started. So for this project, I'm just using a really, really pretty paper on the top. Then you can use whatever paper you would like. And I'm using an 11 by 17. This makes a really nice size. And I think I'm just gonna use this one. And then I, I can use anything for the back. So the first thing I'm gonna do so we can make the pleats is I marked two inches from each edge and I drew a line. And then what I'm gonna do now is fold both sheets of paper. I'm just gonna fold them both in on that line. And once again, the same with this side. Now what I'm gonna do is in between the two pieces of paper, I'm using this stabilizer. It's what you would use like a heavy interface, but you could use any piece of fabric, something that is strong that will not rip easily. This is four inches wide. So it, whether it's a piece of fabric, a piece of canvas, something heavy that doesn't rip like paper or cardstock. And I'm gonna fold this in half and I have it as long as my paper. I'm folding this one in half. This folded edge, I am putting on the outside in between the two edges and we a sewing stitch. If you really didn't want to, you could glue all of yours. I found that when I sew it, when it's just paper, it could rip easier. So keeping this in there, when it opens, you really have some stability on that. So I'm gonna sew a seam right here and the same thing on this one. The folded edge goes out in between and we're gonna do a seam here. Don't forget your center piece is sandwiched in between your top and your bottom and make sure the folded side is out. Just carefully hold it and I am just going to do a stitch along the edge. So I'm opening this up and you can see where your fold lines are. I'm going to fold this in. Yeah, I am pushing the center in and bringing these two fold lines together. So you get your two fold lines together and then I'm just gonna carefully press the center down where all your layers have been sewn. Do a nice little pleat right there. Do the same with the other side. So you're wanting the seam to go into the center. Have this fold line. These two fold lines, bring them together. So what we're gonna do next is sew a seam across the bottom. If you wanted to add um, any sort of a trim or if you're gonna decoupage the whole piece, you might do the whole decoupage first and then sew your bottom trim. But since I'm just using this pretty paper, I'm just gonna sew it and I'm gonna use a zigzag stitch for this. Now, if you're concerned about your bottom opening up, you can do the same thing with the stabilizer at the bottom also. So let's get back to finishing it. You could glue some ribbon around the top edge, which I'm gonna do. And I would use just, I'm just using a Mod Podge glue, but you could use anything you want. I'm just gonna start right here in the center. And this is just a seam binding, but use whatever you have or you would like. You could even do a paper trim. And if you really wanted to sew it, you could sew your trim on, but you, would, you might wanna do that before you sew the bag together. If I was gonna do a handle, I would probably staple it in. So I'm just gonna make a little knot at each end. I'm just gonna staple it to this back edge. I bring my stapler in and staple it just before the, the knot. So that'll hold it there. So here's another one I did, and I just did a lot of decoupage pieces on it. And another thing I did a little bit different is when I put my seam binding, I folded that back in, inwards, instead of so it's coming out. This one, you have a little bit more of a separation in between. If you want it like this, just fold it back when you're folding all your paper together before you sew the bottom. So if you need something quick and fast, because Easter's right around the corner, even if you had wrapping paper or other cute paper for Easter, you could just make these up real simply. You could even shrink them down a little smaller, hang them on each chair full of a goodie. But whatever you do, I hope you try this out and have fun.